We are each free to believe what we want. And it's my view that the simplest explanation is, there is no God. Look down there at verse number 7. It says, When a wicked man dieth, his expectation shall perish, and the hope of unjust men perisheth. You see, the wicked people in this world and those that are unsaved have a certain hope. They have a certain expectation of what the afterlife is going to be like, right? They don't feel they have a need to be saved. They don't understand what hell is really like, that it's true, that it is eternal torment, that it is out of, made of real fire. Here's a common thing that you hear people like atheists, scholars, the, the smart types say, right? The human achievers. Here's, here's kind of a quote that they'll say. They'll say something to this effect. I don't believe in some kind of last judgment or hell. I think Christians just dream them up to scare people into believing the same way they do. Once this life is over, that's the end as far as I'm concerned. There is no God. This leads me to a profound realization. There is probably no heaven and no afterlife either. Well, the Bible says something drastically different. In the day that those idiots die, the day he dies, you rest your soul. His expectation will perish. Ow, ow, I'm burning, I'm burning. Uh... This whole sermon is just, you know, to hopefully provide a sense of urgency to this place called hell. It's not something to get complacent about. It's real. And you guys know that, and we need to understand that. We need to be able to put that fear into other people. You never heard the term to scare the hell out of somebody? Well, <laughs> that's where people got it from. Got it from the Bible, right? When the wicked man dieth, his expectation shall perish, and the hope of unjust men perisheth. That's what the Bible says. We need to let people know that their expectations and their false hope are sending them to hell.